Welcome to Pitch Night 2020. This is Karen Ginzik, my esteemed colleague and the Director of Alumni Services at Cross Purpose. And this is Dale Scott, Senior Development Officer at Cross Purpose. We are your host tonight of the third annual Pitch Night, and we are honored to introduce you to four incredible women and share how you can be a part of their journey and impact. We've got people tuning in to watch the show from all over the world. Uh, if you're joining us now, let us know where you're watching from by typing into the YouTube chat feed. It looks like we've got people, Dale, from Denver, the Springs, Michigan, California, and Denver again. Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda? My name is King T'Challa, son of King T'Chaka. We must find a way to look after one another as if we were one singer tribe. <laughs> Wakanda forever. <laughs> Jail. <laughs> Step out of it. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Wishful oh. thinking. But seriously, we do have a responsibility to look after one another, and we get to do that this evening. Thank you for joining from wherever you are. This is going to be a blast. Tonight, four cross-purpose cross change agents will pitch their business and nonprofit ideas to a panel of 16 dolphins and a global audience to seek startup funding that will help them launch their ventures. But before we jump in, Dale, let's clarify a few things. Let's explain what a change agent is so that people don't think that this is a, is a change agent. Bond. James Bond. <laughs> I, lo I love that guy. <laughs> but that's not the change agent we're talking about. Mm -hmm. A change agent is a graduate of the Cross Purpose Career Program who has an idea to start a business or a nonprofit that will make a positive impact in their community. This year's change agents are budding entrepreneurs have, who have poured themselves into developing their ideas over the last nine months in the change agency program. They are women on a mission. Now, Dale, let's explain as well what we mean by dolphin, because this isn't what we mean. <laughs> That's funny. Dolphins are special guests on a virtual panel who provide feedback and startup capital to the change agents after they pitch their ideas. They have backgrounds in business, management, leadership, nonprofit organizations, and entrepreneurship, and they are here to interact with the change agents. If you've seen the show Shark Tank, dolphins are like sharks, but more friendly. So dolphins, we are really glad that you're here with us tonight. Thank you for being on the show. Um, audience, let's welcome them. Here with us tonight, we have Alan Chan, the Vice President of Legal Affairs at Aero Electronics. Uh, Art Reamers, Managing Partner with Round Hill Investments. Bob Larkin, the Senior Vice President at Bank of America. Rennie Larkin, Attorney at Hall, Rinder, Killian, Heath, and Lyman. Brandon Johnson, Attorney and Owner of the Johnson Law Group. Kate Croft, creative director and founder of the Kin Collective and creative director at TEDx Mile High. Clay Gordon, partner at Stout Street Capital. D. Daniel Scriven, policy analyst at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and chair of the Cross Purpose Board. Diane Miles, community investment manager at AJL Charitable Foundation. Doug Gordon, partner at GR Capital Partners. Joe Leininger of Resource Land Holdings. John Francis, partner at Stout Street Capital. Leslie Harrod, Colorado State Representative of House District 8. Melanie Uli, CEO of Philanthropy Experts. Nina Sharma, Chief Marketing Officer at Greater Washington Partnership. Thank you, Dolphins, for joining the show. We also want to make a shout out to our virtual cheering section, zooming in tonight to cheer on the change agents. Welcome cheering section. Two weeks after the change agents were accepted into the change agency program, COVID hit. Mm -hmm. It seemed like the wrong time to start a new venture, given that many existing small businesses were forced to close their doors. 
Yeah, we even considered pulling the plug on the entire program for 2020. We just didn't want to provide false hope to our change agents in a time of such uncertainty. But the change agents themselves insisted they go on. I remember Monique saying in a Zoom call in April, I have to do this, and meeting together is what's going to keep me going through the hard time. So the change agency team of entrepreneurs and coaches met each Wednesday night via Zoom for weeks on end until the restrictions let up mm -hmm. and they could meet in person again. Mm -hmm. Despite the challenges, these four women successfully completed the program. And now, thanks to Truce Media, who are helping us put on this show, the change agents are able to share their ventures with all of you and prove their determination and grit tonight. So, ladies and gentlemen, dolphins, cheering section, and audience at home, let me introduce to you the 2020 change agents. Well, this is exciting. Uh, these women are incredible. Yes, this is amazing. This is a real TV show. <laughs> so let's talk about how Pitch Night works and how you can be both a virtual spectator and an active participant. The purpose of this night is to celebrate and give seed money to help change agents launch their ventures. Both the Dolphins and you, the audience at home, have the opportunity to give tonight. It doesn't matter if you want to contribute $5 or $5,000. Your contributions will make a difference and be an encouragement to these budding entrepreneurs. If you aren't able to give or you don't want to give, that's okay. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Our dolphins have white paddles that they will raise immediately after the pitch to indicate that they will make a donation to the change agent. After each pitch, Jason Jans, founder and CEO of Cross Purpose, will facilitate dolphin dialogue Yep, and he'll remind you how to give. So let's make sure that those of you at home know how to donate to the change agents. So the first thing you need to know is that any form of donation can be accepted. The second thing is that you can give by clicking the link in the YouTube chat feed, or you can use your phone to scan the QR code on the screen. Both of those will take you to a website where you can choose how you want to give. You can either donate immediately by credit card or make a pledge now and send your payment to Cross Purpose later. Everything you need to know about sending in your payment is on the pledge form. Be sure to indicate which venture you are supporting. Mm -hmm. One more thing you should know is that your donation will go directly to Cross Purpose, not to the change agent. And the reason for that is so that your donation is tax deductible. And the second reason is so that Cross Purpose will then distribute those funds directly to the change agents according to their budgets in a grant form. So this provides a level of, a level of accountability um, to make sure funds are used appropriately. Also, if you're going to donate, make sure you donate or pledge tonight during the show. Mm -hmm. Even if you want to send a check tomorrow, make sure your pledge is on the website tonight. And this is important because at the end of the night, we're going to be sharing the total amounts that each change agent raises in a live announcement. So we want to make sure we include your pledges. So don't wait. Well, Karen, I'm excited. Uh, you remember last year we had mm. four change agents that raised a combined $80,000. Yes, that was incredible and really made it possible for last year's change agents to launch. So we know that you are excited and ready to hear the first pitch. But before we begin, let's hear from one change agent who pitched his idea to start a nonprofit organization at the very first pitch night two years ago. Hi, my name is Darren. I uh, wanted to come and share with you today's story. About six years ago, I got sober. Um, I had been living on the streets of Denver. Um, I was addicted to meth and I, uh, I was having troubles. I had, I had abandoned my family. I hadn't seen them in over 15 years. I finally decided to get sober and I went to see my mom. 
and I told her all my plans to make my life better, how, what I was gonna do different this time. And I remember her just breaking down into tears and she was crying. She said, Darren, uh, a mother's not supposed to see her son die. Jump ahead six years, I've been going through Cross Purpose, then became a member of Change Agency. And Jason Jans, the Change Agency, gave us a challenge. He said, I want you to create lasting social impact on your community. Now I've already gotten a job working at a treatment center, built this new beautiful life, um, but there was something else I needed to do. So I went through Change Agency and I created a, a program that would help people in recovery find their higher power through music and art. So when they opened this big beautiful building, uh, the grand opening took place one day and my class started the next day. For 10 weeks we brought in all these wonderful beautiful souls and we taught them how to play piano, we taught them uh, how to write their own songs, um, but mostly we talked to them about how to walk through fear. At the end of the class, 10 weeks later, they got up in, this, in the chapel here and they performed their songs. I remember at the end of that night, I looking out in the sky after leaving this building and just thinking I was in the perfect place, like God had given me a purpose and he was smiling really, really big. Jump forward a year and I'm coaching with the new class of change agents here in the building. When we did our pitch night and we had a room full of people in the chapel, uh, everybody was ready to hear all these pitches and I got the chance to get up and share what uh, my program was doing. And the best part of that was uh, right in the front row were my mom and dad. The last time my mom cried was when um, she thought she was going to lose her son. And now I look down as I'm speaking in my, in my brand new suit about this new life that, that God had given me. And I look down at my mom and dad and their tears of joy. They just are so proud of who I am and who I've become. And that would not have happened had we not had this place to be. At pitch night, Darren raised several thousand dollars to hire music teachers and hold more art classes for people in recovery. That seed money donated by viewers like you gave him the resources and the confidence to start and to keep going. In the past year, Darren led 50 people to strengthen their recovery through music and art classes. By 2023, he aims to serve a thousand people. Today, Darren is not only the director of his own 501c3 nonprofit organization called Colorado Artists in Recovery, but he is also celebrating the fact that just one month ago, he received his very first grant, $165,000 from the Caring for Denver Foundation. We want to stop right now and say a special thank you to one of our dolphins with us tonight, Representative Leslie Harrod. Representative Harrod spearheaded the Caring for Denver ballot initiative and now serves as the foundation's board chair. Representative Harrod, we thank you for setting the example as a community leader. You are modeling for us what it looks like to be a true agent of change. Yeah, indeed. Mm -hmm. At Cross Purpose, we have a saying. Those who have been through the struggle are the ones best mm -hmm. suited to help others through it. Yeah. The women you are about to meet exemplify this saying and are on fire and ready to transform their communities through their ventures. So Dale, it's time. It's time to hear from our very first change agent. This young woman has a quiet confidence and a deep passion for speaking into the lives of young girls. She is a woman who knows what she wants and works very hard to get it. Here to inspire you to join her in making a difference in her community is Miss Destiny Hoff. My name is Destiny Huff. I am 24 years old. I came to Cross Purpose at a time where I was just really lost and depressed. I had been wanting to get back into school for a long time, but I couldn't afford it. A couple years ago, actually back in 2017, I had just got an idea of this venture I wanted to do to help children like myself who've been just dealing with trauma or emotional and mental problems. Once I graduated Cross Purpose Change Agency just kind of clicked to me like wow this is perfect like not only do I 
get to be a part of Cross Purpose, but now I get to actually do what I'm passionate about, which is helping children overcome their trauma. I just feel like there are so many kids in the world, and not even just in the world, but in Denver um, alone, that could really use somebody in their corner and could really use that mentorship and just other ways to express their feelings. And I think that's my driving force. I used to have a reoccurring dream of waking up on a Saturday morning to the smell of my mama making pancakes, my favorite thing for her to make. When I creaked my eyes open, I would always be hit with the same reality. There were no pancakes and there was no mama. She had left me during the night and I constantly would ask myself, why am I the daughter that couldn't keep a mama? My name is Destiny Huff, and from the beginning, I've had the cards stacked against me. Almost a product of abortion, I often would wonder why God would send me here to be a motherless child. It wasn't until my early 20s when I realized God sent me here for a reason, and that is to help children like me and create Destiny's Corner. Childhood trauma is defined as a negative experience or event by a child that is emotionally painful or distressful, oftentimes resulting in long-term or lingering effects. Types of childhood trauma include sexual, physical, verbal, and emotional abuse, witnessing violence in their home or community, and neglect or abandonment. Types of long-term effects include lack of energy or hyperactivity, chronic depression, and PTSD and anxiety, just to name a few. In the research that was conducted over the course of a decade by the National Institute of Mental Health shows that the suicide rate for ages 10 to 17 increased by 60%, and the depression rate for ages 12 to 17 increased by 57%. Isn't this scary? I was 10 years old the first time I self-harmed again at 12 and again at 14. From there, it was a constant thing. Little did I know a teacher had noticed the cuts on my arm and notified my uncle. That day, he was so upset, he told me words I will never forget. He said, why don't you just slit your wrist and get it over with? I was 14, lost, scared, and crying out for help. I battled my addiction with self-harming for the better part of 12 years. And in 2018, I got a tattoo of three roses to cover up my scars and vowed to never self-harm again. The three roses symbolize my three nieces and I wouldn't want to cut over them. So what if there was a program that offered children like me and many others a chance to tear down emotional and mental barriers? A program that would offer ways to face trauma through natural restorative measures, such as yoga, art, cooking, music, and dance. Destiny's Corner will assist female youth ages 8 to 14 in the development of healthy emotional practices and skill set. We will offer peer support as well as customized individual care, host workshops and seminars on the importance of all things mental health and continue to give back into the community. I grew up being raised that children are to be seen and not heard. I don't agree with that. Children are our future and they deserve to know that their voice matters. This next clip is from a young lady in our community named Nishai. I see different challenges in female youth on a daily basis, but it varies for each person because every person is their own different person. But the majority of the time, it's more not around attitudes, but it's more negative self-talk. And how would we know what type of support these kids want or need? Well, I've done some market research and the results are in. Let's hear what Jordan has to say. What types of activities would you like to see in an after school program? Um, cooking slash baking lessons. And what type of support would you look for in an after school program? Somebody to congratulate me on my growth. So what these kids are saying is if we were to congratulate them more on their personal development and growth, there will be less negative self-talk. That is what Destiny's Corner is about. A wise woman once said, develop enough courage to stand up for yourself and then stand up for somebody else. Maya Angelou. 
I am standing up for our youth, and I am asking you to do the same. To get Destiny's Corner started, I am asking for $12,000 in donations, $7,000 to go towards startup equipment and supplies, $3,000 to go towards marketing and branding to create awareness, and $2,000 to go towards becoming certified in childhood trauma. So I'm asking you all this evening to please help me help our youth step into their destiny at Destiny's Corner. Thank you. Destiny is so proud of you. Thank Great you. job. You. you just knocked it out of the park. Uh, we have these special guests, our dolphins here, and they would like to make some comments to you and talk about Destiny's Corner and how it can move forward. So first dolphin, Art Reamer, do you have something you'd like to comment on? Destiny, thank you very much. That was wonderful. It's so inspiring. You started by saying that as a child, you'd grown up to be uh, seen but not heard, but we are seeing you and hearing you, and you're going to help a lot of other people be heard and seen, so thank you. Tell us a little bit about sort of the age groups that you think you'll be working with and, um, and how that might develop over time. Yes. So originally to get started, I will do eight to 14 and break it up into two groups. So it will be eight to 10 as age group one and then 11 to 14 as age group two. Um, eventually, as I begin to, to gain more traction, I would like to move into sort of the older high school kids, about the 15 to 18 range. Um, so, yeah, that's how it looks. D. Daniel Scriven. Hi, Destiny. Thank you so much for sharing your pitch. Um, you are so inspiring. Um, you are strong. You are confident. You're articulate. And as a former uh, child abuse and neglect prosecutor, I've seen a ton of children go through the system. And this is such a need that we need to address in our community. So I am so proud of you for doing this, for taking um, what was maybe a weakness in your past totally transforming it into its strength and you're going to take it and transform our community total go for it like I, I wish i was there to give you a big hug and like clap all day long you're going to do it good job thank you thank you doug gordon destiny that was awesome uh tell, tell me a little bit more about the education and the certification that you're going after Yes. So there is a childhood trauma certification. Actually, there's one through Denver Health that I would be interested in um, just to gain more experience in working with children with trauma. I mean, I can relate personally, but there are certain techniques and skills that I need to learn. Um, and I would also like to get into maybe CAC, um, Certified Addiction Counseling, because some of these kids may have some addictions, um, just as I had, um, that I need the skill to learn and learn how to deal with. I love that. I, I think that's great. And I, I think that getting the education is a, is a great start. And I, this kind of a deal has, has touched my life as well um, through some very deep and personal ways. So I'll just tell you right now, I'm in. All right. I'll cover your education. Thank you. You'll cover that. That's $2,000, Doug. You're going to cover $2,000 for a training. Wow. All right. right I just saw you post up. Let's cover the whole project, Art. So, Dolphin, I'm going to put you on the spot right now. I told you to be a dolphin. You didn't have to uh, give. But if you'd like to give to this project, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to write something on your paddle uh, that you'll give to this project. And let's see what can happen right now. Destiny, thanks for taking a huge step Thank of faith uh, launching this. I've, as you can see, like you're casting a ripple effect because uh, they're moved. Uh, the audience that's watching this is moved. It's because you decided to just take uh, what happened in your life and now learn to bless others. So let's see what we've got here. Yes. Looks like we have oh several hundred dollars yes. coming in. Love. There's love all love, around. Love, love. What do you have to say, Destiny? I'm just so appreciative, grateful, thankful. Like I never knew a little girl growing up like me um, would be here. Appreciative to Cross Purpose and you guys, the whole community. Amen. Any final comments from a dolphin that they'd like to say to Destiny? Kate Croft. Destiny, and Diane Miles, I'll let you both go. Kate gonna, Croft. We're going to rock it out. Thanks for always doing so much for other people and continuing to pay it forward. You're going to change the world. Thank you. Diane Miles. 
I just want to tell you that um, your story was so inspiring and you are a beautiful young lady. And I'm so excited for all of the children that um, whose lives you're going to change and impact um, from your trauma. And thank you. Thank you for leading and being spearheading and, and being amazing. All right. Last words, Kate Croft. Yes, Destin, thank you so much. Um, I'm just in awe of your your story. And I think that that will be so powerful in the young women that you work with. Um, I'm a little late to the game, but I love to jump in. And um, I'm actually a graphic designer, creative director for the largest TED Talk chapter in North America. And I would love to um, provide all of your marketing and branding um, in kind. Wow. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> awesome. So I think, folks, we have... About $3,000, a little bit more than that, come in just from the dolphins alone. So if you're watching this at home, please click on the link and donate to see this project totally funded. She's only asking for $12,000, and she's actually going to do $100,000, $1 million worth of good. Let's get her going. Thank you for joining. And one more time, let's hear for Destiny cheering section. Uh, let's cheer her on. We're proud of you. Way to go. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> well, thanks, Jason. And wow, Destiny, that was powerful. Next up is a creative superstar with a sincere heart. She has overcome tremendous obstacles with grace and perseverance, always with a bright smile that comes straight from her soul. Please welcome Lilia Mendoza. My name is Lilia Mendoza. What has helped me has always just been sketching, painting. Also as a single mom, it's like something that I share with my son that we just like to do together is just sketch, paint, create stories. He likes to dance as well. What drives me is that I just want other women to feel encouraged by my story and women who've faced same adversity, same struggles, same fears, know that you can overcome them if you just keep on going. And hopefully my story helps somebody else, whether it's me helping them by teaching them what I've learned, or if it's just them feeling inspired by what I've overcome. When I was two years old, my dad escaped the violence of the cartels in Mexico because he was a police officer whose life was in danger. He brought my family here to Colorado to start a better life. This journey was incredibly hard on us and it was through the trauma of this terrifying situation that I started to witness domestic violence in my family and my community. Deep roots of anxiety started to build as I grew up in constant fear of being deported and experiencing abuse. As I got older, I found one place where I felt completely safe and comforted. This place was my nail salon. I was 13 years old when I first got my nails done for my cousin's quinceanera. This was more than just a special event, but one of the first times in my life I truly felt beautiful. However, my dad and many men in the Mexican culture did not approve of my nails. They would tell me that only streetwalkers wear acrylic nails. They would always say this, so I always felt like I had to hide who I was and my nails in shame. I continued to get my nails done, and it was through this emotional time in my life that I met my nail artist, Jeanette. Unlike other nail salons where it often feels transactional, Jeanette was there for me as a therapist and my closest friend. She made me feel like the nail salon was a safe haven where I could release my worries and talk through all my life's obstacles. Where I come from, women are belittled by men because they can say whatever they want. Many women are trained to be obedient and silent about their emotions and ha have suffered from this form of cultural abuse. The problem with this is that many women who grow up in this oppressive culture develop severe anxiety as adults, like my grandmother, who's pictured here. 
I want to not only be there for women who come from the same abusive culture as me, but all kinds of women who need to feel beautiful inside and out. I want to help single moms, undocumented citizens, women experiencing abuse, or just the everyday problems. My nail salon, Lily Bay Nails, will help women walk out with the confidence to run the world by having the most spectacular nails in town. I am a very talented nail artist that trained at an accredited beauty school recognized by the Department of Regulatory Agencies in the state of Colorado. I want my nail art to make women feel fierce and proud to express who they are meant to be. Here are a few pictures of my nail art. My heart and my vision is to create this safe haven for women where they feel at ease to be themselves. I picture a space like a childhood tree house where girls come to feel comforted by their friends and escape the real world for a couple of hours. I also plan to partner with domestic violence shelters to provide free services to pamper women who need it the most. When it comes to launching a nail salon, costs will vary, but a typical outlay can run between $75 and $125 per square foot. This means a retail side of 1,000 square feet, a typical size for a nail salon, will cost roughly $75,000 to $175,000 to build before they can open the doors to customers. But I am asking for just $15,000. $1,000 will be used towards marketing and $5,700 will be used for nail salon products like equipment and furniture and $8,300 will be used to purchase this cozy nail shed. Thank you for making my dream of Lily Bay Nails become a reality, where the women of Denver will glamorously be transformed inside and out. Lilia, congratulations. <laughs> that was great. Uh, who would have thought when we met eight years ago that we'd be standing right here? And I, I'm so thrilled. I even saw you were showing me your peppermint nails that you made for tonight. And uh, <laughs> you just have an unusual gift, and you are doing what you love to do. So Thank we have you. assembled a group of dolphins here who would like to speak to you and give you their feedback uh, around this idea. So any dolphins that would like to give a comment, uh, first goes to Clay Gordon. Hey, thank you so much for uh, your presentation. This was absolutely wonderful. Um, I really uh, am a big fan of the sense of community, which I feel like you're bringing. I mean, yes, you're bring, providing a service of nails, but the community is just so important. Uh, so, you know, I want to pledge our financial support to, to help you, um, but really just want to say congratulations on a wonderful pitch and um, it's so important to what you guys are doing. Melanie Uli. Lily, great job. Awesome pitch. And I think that you, as a female entrepreneur who created a space where women could gather, I totally believe that women need those safe spaces in order to find relaxation, comfort, confidence, and community. And so I, um, I will pledge to support this project, and I think that you're going to be an amazing success. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Joe Leininger. Hi, Lily. You did a wonderful job. That was so sweet, and, and, and you have such a strong, gracious spirit. We totally will want to support mm. a woman of your character and conviction, and it's just a wonderful story, and so thank you. Thanks for blessing us. That was wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely in. The Larkins. Thanks, Emily. Thank you so much for your wonderful pitch. It was so exciting to hear and just to feel your passion um, for just caring for the community around you in the way that um, you've been gifted to. It's just so exciting to see a picture into that and to hopefully be a part of it. So we look forward to supporting you. Great job tonight. Nina Sharma. Hi, Lilia, that was absolutely amazing. Um, I'm the daughter of an immigrant who doesn't quite understand powerful women either. So that totally resonated with me. Um, I am happy to offer you as much business guidance and support as you need as you get this up and running. So. Really excited to pledge my, my own support as well, but thank you so much for that. Uh, we'll go Brandon Johnson and final comment by Representative Herod. You had me at fierce women rule. 
I really appreciate the way that you structured your deal and you, you broke it down into making it minimal to get started. Um, and that's great. That shows a lot about your uh, gumption and your focus on this. And a great job. And I'm going to get behind you 100%. Representative Herod. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I thought... You were quite phenomenal. And I want to introduce you to my good friend who runs Base Coat Nail Salon, also a place for communities to gather. And she got her line picked up by Nordstrom's and by company, Whole Foods and companies across the country starting out just like you did. So I'd love to introduce you to her. And I can't wait to be your first customer. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Joe Lyver wants to be a customer too, right, Joe? <laughs> Art, I'll give you one final. I saw your hand up, Art. Anything you want to say before we close? Actually, I was going to say it was unbelievable. So confident and such a great proposal. Don't forget the men. Men also like to come in. They may not like the same type of nails, but they they get them done. So do that. But I think it is just wonderful that you're bringing such dignity and community to people. Tell us a little bit about where you're going to put your put the location. Um, so I will be looking for a space to put it. Um, I do want to put it just like a place that's accessible for everyone. Um, and then also uh, be able to, um, you know, be in cl close proximity to some of like the shelters or just be able to travel to some of the domestic violence shelters because I do want to commit to, you know, just coming in and giving these women like a day of like pampering and, you know, just letting them bend and talk and stuff like that. Lilia, how do you feel after the support you're getting? Obviously, you're going to get some cash here and it's not a lot of money to get something going. Yes. And so how do you feel? Um, I feel very excited and, you know, just seeing the support because, you know, like I said, in the culture, you're always kind of taught like to be little, don't think big. Um, so you always question your ideas, but just hearing your guys' support just reaffirms for me and confirms that what I'm doing is possible and what I'm doing is right. So it's like, I'm not questioning my idea. <laughs> Great. Good job, Lilia. Thank if you're you. watching us at home, we just want to encourage you to click on the link, give to Lily's uh, nail effort here, and we can raise this money, folks, and she can get going. And, you know, let's get the parking lot, too. So let us know your comments. Let us know how you can help. Uh, once again, let's hear it up for Lilia Mendoza. She did a great job tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. And that was beautiful, Lilia. Next up, we have a special update from one of last year's change agents, Miss Sheila Littlejohn. Hi, good evening. My name is Sheila Littlejohn. I am a 2019 change agent. My venture is a survivor's journey, helping uh, women overcome childhood sexual abuse or sexual assault, become survivors and go from victims to victorious. Um, since, since my pitch night, I have had one, um, full class of victims to victory, uh, classes. I've also started a weekly Sunday yoga wind down, and I've also started a women's pantry. And a new round of um, Victim to Victory will be starting in January of 2021. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen um, at the end of tonight's Change Agency. Uh, change agents have been working so hard and I'm so proud of you all. We're so proud of Sheila and what she's doing in the community. Many of you might be asking, you know, what is Cross Purpose? And Cross Purpose is a nonprofit here in downtown Denver, designed to help families escape poverty through career and community development. The story started 12 years ago when my wife and I just moved into downtown Denver. We actually moved next to Tiffany Johnson, and we have been neighbors for the last 12 years. And really coming to a new neighborhood with really a new culture and a new environment, Tiffany became our tutor and really introduced us to the neighborhood, showed us how things work, took us to the schools, and we became close friends. And then we had a foster daughter join our home, and she was three years old. And Tiffany really came over and really taught my wife uh, many things about raising a young girl in our neighborhood. And 
we became fast friends and I became familiar with Tiffany's story and I became burdened because she was super smart. She had a management mindset, but she was working at our local Walmart in the auto department and she had been there for over 10 years and I just thought she was good enough to run the store. And I shopped at that Walmart and knew it needed some management help. And so I thought, how can Tiffany with all these gifts go to the next level? And actually Tiffany's story is the story of hundreds of families in our neighborhood who just need that opportunity uh, to go to the next level. And so we started a program in 2012 to help families uh, like Tiffany uh, take that next step in their career. And so I presented the, the new program to Tiffany, which at that time was only an idea. And she was actually the first one to join into the first class to graduate, but I'll let her tell that story. Let's be honest, Jason. The program was set to increase your income by 50%. And I had been trying to climb the corporate ladder for years, and I was ready to think outside the box. But shortly after, I realized that it was way easier said than done. But when you're in an atmosphere where the teacher becomes a student uh, and the student becomes the teacher, uh, the growth is reciprocal. And the experience is this. They were able to help me with networking. Uh, they introduced me to people and helped me to advocate for myself. Uh, I was able to change my mindset um, and just my perception on, on a whole lot of situations. Um, and then I graduated the program. And uh, months after graduation, life happened. My four-month-old daughter uh, went into cardiac arrest. I had just quit my job that I had been at for the past 13 years. And I was ready to set my new career path uh, as a store manager for Starbucks. And the world was gonna just let me quit. And I could have easily just went back into my comfort space, just stuck to what I knew, not wanting to reach out and learn new things. And it was a journey, and I mean months. We were in the hospitals. I was trying to learn a new job. <laughs> and I was still trying to do stuff for the program. And they were like, just slow down. Um, but my mindset was just growth. My energy was grit. Um, so after Tiana got out the hospital, um, I decided to come back into the program and become an ally for two families and walk alongside them. Um, I wanted people to see me um, as she went through that and I can go through it too. So I taught classes shortly after that. Um, and then while working at Starbucks as a store manager, I was recruited by FedEx office uh, to be the senior store manager um, in the Stapleton location. So really, Cross Purpose is just taking what happened here. And I'm happy to report that we've now walked with 400 families on a similar journey uh, towards self-sufficiency and them advocating for the career that they deserve. So we'd love to have you join in uh, on the journey with us. It's just neighbors loving neighbors on this road called life. So now I'm happy to introduce that Tiffany, uh, one of our graduates, uh, not only is a teacher in the program, has, is giving back in multiple ways to become an ally in the program, but she's also now just joined our governing board. So now Tiffany, who lives next door to me, is now my boss. So I have to behave uh, really well, but I'm so proud uh, to serve under her uh, in this capacity. And now she has a huge burden for the future of our graduates. I'm going to let her talk about that. I have a real big heart for the alumni. What happens after graduation? Um, did we retain that information that we learned through the program? Um, what are we doing now? Uh, so instead of just talking about being a part of it, um, I just want to live uh, in that change. I want to be that change. Uh, so I'm here and I'm all in. Tiffany's joined our fundraising team and is going to tell her story and help raise money for other neighbors like her to go on a similar journey. So now we're actually going to hear from one of our change agents from last year who graduated and has launched her venture. And I'm going to introduce you to Tawanda Feliciana. Hi, I'm Tawanda with Ferris of the Mall. This year, my business has been able to reach at least 30 young ladies. What I provide is a fun photo shoot with hair and makeup and a fun wardrobe and a theme to bring out the true beauty from every, which, every young girl in every situation, even challenging situations. 
So this year I've had a wonderful time and I can't wait to do this forever. Thanks everyone for supporting Ferris of Them All and I plan on helping every young girl feel like the Ferris of Them All. Our next change agent has overcome hardship beyond what most cannot imagine. Yet the grace and joy with which she lives life is evident to everyone who meets her. She is the spiritual mother of the change agency team and her strength and courage inspire us all. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Ms. Musu Cook. Well, hello everybody. My name is Musu Cook, originally from Liberia. I came here with my family and uh, today I'm a single mom and I usually work in the health field. I love caring for people and I just graduated from college online and I was trying to get a training opportunity and then I saw cross purpose. I really love to have a better impact on our society and our community today and so I decided to join this program to make a difference in the life of our community, our elders especially. My name is Musu Cook and I greatly appreciate each of you being here. My family and I moved here about 15 years ago from Liberia. After 14 years of civil war, my family was forced to immigrate to the United States. My husband came earlier. We joined him in the United States about six years later. 11 years after joining my husband, he went to be with the Lord. Our African culture encourages every family to take care of our elders at home. And I have always loved biology and the health field. While in Liberia, I assisted many people with home choice and community services like serving food in displaced camp during the war. Now that I have studied in the health field and I'm far from my original home, I am extending this care to our community here in Colorado. I've worked in nursing homes, groups, group homes, assisted living, and home care. Among the above facilities, I chose home care. Home care is one of the fastest growing fields in the healthcare industry in the country and has created a, a culture where the industry is focused mainly on the physical needs of clients. Yet, most people have no opportunity for relationship, emotional, or spiritual needs to be met. What is missing is love, kindness, companionship, and the comfort of fellowship. I first noticed there was something missing when I visited one of my clients. After assisting him with household chores that day, I realized he was lonely and needing spiritual help. Being a person of faith, he was not able to leave his home to find community fellowship. That is why I am starting my own home healthcare business called True Grace. During the war in Liberia, my husband and I were almost killed at gunpoint when two gunmen placed a gun in my husband's mouth. We were rescued by two soldiers. And because these soldiers saved our lives through the special grace of God Almighty, I want to focus my home health care business on assisting veterans. True Grace will build a team that will meet the physical needs of our clients, like taking care of their house choice, meal prep, showers, gloaming, and medication reminders. In addition, we will also meet their emotional and spiritual needs by offering encouragement, reading together, playing games, and being a listening ear, since most of them don't have access to fellowshipping outside of their homes. My experience working in this field 
over 30 years and the patience and endurance I have received to care for others and the knowledge acquired, I have a strong conviction to make this happen by the special grace of God Almighty. The end result will be a holistic service to meet every need of the whole person. My home health care business startup cost will be $26,500. The training and database setup costs will be $12,500, which is a one-time membership fee for the AHR group. Equipment, PPE, insurance, and other startup costs will be an additional $14,000. Please consider helping me provide our veterans and those needing home health care with a more holistic home care service. Thank you. Musu. Great job. Uh, I am so proud of you. You are one of the strongest women that I know. And from my understanding, what you want to do with True Grace is it's not just you. You eventually want to employ a whole team of home health care providers that have this philosophy of home health care. Is that correct? Yes. Great. Well, we're proud of you. And we've brought the dolphins here to see what they have to say about your venture. I can see them during your presentation. I can tell they're moved. So, Diane Miles. And so I want to say thank you for serving our veterans. My dad is a veteran and he loves church. I know he's one of the lucky veterans because he has me and my brothers to make sure he gets there and um, we support him and take care of him. I also was a home health care provider part time for my mom until she passed. And the work that you're doing and serving um, the communities and the veterans that you're serving is is just beautiful. And I want to thank you. And um, I'm going to make sure we can support you however we can. Thank you. Awesome. Alan Chan. Musu, thank you so much for your service and for your passion and your vision, um, especially during this uh, pandemic. I think that our our elderly, our veterans are, are forgotten, you know, and, and for you to dedicate yourself uh, to take care of our, um, you know, uh, population that's in need. It's a beautiful thing. So th thank you for, for that commitment. And uh, I'm definitely in. Thank you. Larkins. That was very passionate and, and emboldened by you. I, I really love that you're using your skill set and your passions directed at, at what you want to do entrepreneurially. Um, we're fully supported of, supportive of you and um, really encouraged by your story and, and how you want to serve people. And, and I agree with Alan completely. This, you couldn't be more timely in what you're trying to approach. So we're 100% we're in. Mm. Thank you. Did you see that, Musu? Yeah. What does that pedal say? Thank you. It says $1,000, Musu. Yeah. That's $1,000 cash oh, for your venture. How does that make you feel? Good. That's great. Appreciate it. D. Daniel Scriven. Hi, Musu. Thank you so much for sharing your pitch with us. As I was so impressed by your love, your heart, your spirit, your faith, um, and that your faith moved you to serve others in our community, especially veterans and those who are isolated in their homes. Um, you are such a strong woman who's persevered and gone through so much. I cannot even imagine. And I'm so blessed that you're a part of our community now here in Denver. And i um, I'm totally loving your idea. I think it meets a need. Um, I love that you have the vision for this. I love that you're using your skills for this and we will totally be supporting you in this. I can't write down the dollar amount. I need to talk to my husband about it, but I will be supporting you on this venture. Congratulations. Great. Thank you. Are there any other dolphins that would like to make a pledge of any kind of support before we close here? Um, uh, Brandon Johnson, I'll go Clay Gordon, and then I'll go Art Reamers. Go ahead, Brandon. Great job with your presentation. You have a great story. I'm sure it drives you and motivates you. Thank you for putting your efforts in this direction, which is such a need right now. And I'm going to donate $500 um, to go along and um, – I have some experience and some legal work of, of helping a home health care provider. So uh, we'll definitely get connected to and, and I can help you through those uh, regulatory uh, minefields, if you will. But great job. Great presentation. Uh, much needed. I like the I like your story. I like the idea. I'm, I'm, uh, I hope for the best. 
Thank you. Musa, you just got a free you. attorney. That's thank like thousands you. and thousands of dollars. So <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much, Brandon. Thank you. Uh, Clay Gordon. Yeah, thank, thank you uh, for that. Um, you know, I really feel like you're putting uh, business back in like the people business, and I feel like it's really uh, moved um, as well. Um, yeah, my similar to D, I, I just need to clarify with the wife, but just know that you have our financial support coming your way. We're going to follow up with an email to Ron and, and Jason as well, but um, just know that we're going to back you as well. But thank you. Okay. Thank you. Final one, Art Reamers. Thank you. I just wanted to tell you that I thought that, that you have such a power of presence and um, it comes across quietly but so strongly and i was deeply moved and i know that the vets as you bring your uh, you come around them and bring other people around them your presence will just pay big dividends and so it's just just such quiet power that you have and i so admire that and your pitch was really really good uh, i know that you're going to get to where you need and we're going to be supportive too thank you well, Musu, congratulations. Looks Thank like you. it's been very well received. Uh, any words you want to say as you wrap up tonight? Well, I just appreciate each of you being here. And um, I know um, you believe in us. That's why you are all here to listen to uh, our ideas and uh, our passions. So we are here to work together to uplift our community um, to serve and meet every need of the whole person. Thank you. Awesome. So you've heard the pitch. You've seen the, the burden. She's willing to lay herself down for this cause to help uh, our veterans, which means so much to us as a country. So if you're watching this at home, please click and donate. We need to raise $26,500 to get this business going. We've already got a good start here with our dolphins. So click in and support her today. Musu, that was excellent. What a night. This is amazing. For those of you at home, don't forget to stay till the end of the show to find out the total amount each change agent has raised. This will be broadcast live after all donations have been tabulated. We have one last pitch to hear. Monique is yet another powerful young woman with amazing vision and the grit to make her entrepreneurial dreams come true. Her courage over the last few months has inspired us all to never, ever give up on our dreams. Give it up for Monique Smith. Hi, my name is Monique Smith and I'm 24 years old. When I became a woman, I also became a mother. And once I had my son, we had to rely on low income housing. And Warren Village referred me to Cross Purpose, where I became a bookkeeper. I knew that I wanted to become an entrepreneur. In the change agency program, I had a lot of personal development growth and I reflected a lot on my life and what resonated with me the most. And me and my son, we love to go to the zoo in the Denver Aquarium to have a bonding and learning experience. We have made it this far in the Change Agency program, and I feel like it's encouraged me to be the resilient woman that I am today. I'm really excited to show it because, well, I mean, I just want to empower women. I just want them to feel just as resilient as I am. My name is Monique Smith. And Oprah once said, to love yourself is a never ending journey. I, like most women, have found that to be very true. From the very beginning, I was destined to be a resilient woman, full of confidence about the way that I look and feel. That is who I am today, but that was not always the case. My skin journey began when I was nine years old. I was ashamed of my skin. I was always hiding the many dark marks that I had on my arms and legs that resulted from scratching insect bites. I was told I had hyperpigmentation of the skin, which is a common problem in African-American women. 
It made me feel different from all the other little kids having to wear long sleeve clothing in warm weather at the beginning of picture day at school. Later in life, I realized even more that surviving can be beautiful. When I turned 19 years old, I suffered daily agonizing attacks from a physical abusive partner, which oftentimes wounded my bare skin. I was able to fix my own tilted crown. However, I lacked the emotional and physical support for my scars until later in life. And I am not a victim. I have overcome many difficulties during my skin journey, and it turns out that I am not alone in my struggle. According to Psychology Today, the psychosocial side effects of skin conditions and skin traumas are social withdrawal, frustration, lack of confidence, and shame. Many common problems Many common skin conditions and skin trauma that can cause emotional stress are as follows. Hyperpigmentation, dark marks and blotchiness on the face and body, as well as acne. It's also problematic for women to develop a wound, cut, or a scar after accidentally bumping into something, being in a collision, or experiencing other types of physical abusive contact. I have tried many commercial brands on the market. However, they left my skin feeling very dry and irritated, and I could not afford surgery or treatments to fix my skin. I researched and I studied many of herbs and their benefits, and I applied them to my skin. I found natural herbs that healed me and gave me confidence again in my skin journey. And I am honored to share my solution with those who desire beautiful, healthy skin and the confidence that comes with it. I am the creator and founder of Urban Glow, a new natural skincare brand infused with both ethical and fair trade values specific to target the common problems mentioned before for the empowerment and beautification of women. I want to provide women with free one-on-one -on -one tip sessions and advice to achieve their natural skin journey results and offer natural products for them. I've created a specific product brand that could help women heal from their skin journeys from everywhere in the world. I have a Balance Me collection, which helps to reduce hyperpigmentation, dark marks, and blotchiness on the face and body, and also acne, as well as maintaining healthy and hydrated skin. I have a Goodbye Forever collection, which helps with anti-bruising, pain relief, cleansing, and skin healing properties. All of my collections have a positive affirmation signed by me just for you. Due to life experiences, many women like myself transition into a natural lifestyle, and it can be a gradual process, which can be overwhelming. At Urban Glow, we are a family figuring it out together along the way. We are a world full of unique, resilient women where no matter what our skin journey is, we inspire one another to live healthy, happy, and our naturally glowing skin. So you may ask yourself how I may be a part of this amazing solution. Tonight, I'm asking you to invest in these women's skin journeys. It will take $20,000 to get my products on the market. $3,500 will go to an e-commerce website, education and skincare formulation, and an LLC registration. $14,000 will go to raw materials, office equipment, 
and lab equipment to create three months worth of inventory for these women. $2,500 will go to multi-purpose lab testing for all of my products and or certifications. It is my mission to enable thousands of women to glow on the inside and out. Thank you. Monique, beautiful, beautiful. I, I hope you hear that word loud and clear tonight, like beautiful all around. That's who you are and that's what you're doing. And we are so proud of you. Uh, bang up job. And I, I think you're, you're gonna just make an explosion into our neighborhood, into our city uh, for lots of women. So our Dolphin support group is here and I like to kind of open it up for comments to them. Nina Sharma's hand went up automatically. So Nina, I'll let you lead. Monique, where have you been all my life? Um, I am 41 years old. I have acne scars and I have discoloration all over my skin. You can't probably see it on the video, but oh my gosh, I need your product. That was so awesome. Um, it was so, I just love your idea of being people beautiful on the inside and out. And uh, it's just so incredible what you've created. I cannot wait to support you. Anything I can do to help you with business plans, marketing, um, absolutely anything. I really want to see this come to life. So thank you so much. Now, I think I want you to know that's Nina Sharma. Like she's mentored hundreds of entrepreneurs, work with Denver University. She's some of the best of the best and she's behind you. You know why? Because you're, you're, you're hitting her right in her own life experience because you used your life experience. So yes. that's awesome stuff. Yes. Alan Chan. Hi, Nina. Uh, your story is beautiful. You are beautiful. Um, you know, th this hits home for me too. M my father actually has his PhD in over-the-counter over product development. Uh, 40 years doing R&D, he's developed, uh, you know, Blistex, most of their line, uh, Origel he invented many years ago. And actually, we, as our family, we started our own skincare line uh, about 10 years ago now. So I would love to introduce you to my father to help you with anything related to development, manufacturing. Uh, we, we've been through a journey ourselves, so I would love to pass on any knowledge that we've got. And of course, uh, uh, I'm in and supporting you uh, however, however I can. Man, how do you feel about that, Monique? Thank you so much. That's greatly appreciated. Do you want to meet his dad? I do. I would be honored <laughs> to meet your father. Absolutely. I think you're getting some pretty heavyweight support here. I think this thing's going to rock. Anybody else have a comment for Monique? Uh, Art Reavers and then Leslie Herod. Monique, it's just unbelievable. You talk about uh, resilient woman and confident. Yes, 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 that is you. Your insights are extraordinary. I mean, literally extraordinary about, about the market. You're in a humongous category that's there. We need you and we need your products. Urban Glow and the connection that you have with your products is 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 going to fly off the shelves. My, my daughter runs a private equity firm that invests in uh, female entrepreneurs and they have products just like yours and and so therefore I I know that this is where it's going to be tell me because I want you to tell us a little bit what other what other products can you imagine because we know the ones you just said are going to fly off the shelf so what else can you imagine that's going to be um, relevant to the market and the constituents that you have, because I'm really, really interested and in we're all in. Absolutely, thank you for that question. I wanna help women with their bodies all around. So I do offer a Yanni Care collection, which is 100% plant-based with natural herbs. And also I have a Fresh Bar collection, which is bars of soap. Um, and these are my Goodbye Forever and my Balance Me collections. Thank you very much. And don't forget men. We have needs too. Yes. It's definitely a night yes. for the women, Art. It's coming. Yes, it's coming. Keep bringing those men to the front. <laughs> yes. Uh, Representative Herod. Oh, well, thank you so much. I just want to say that you are a star. You are so amazing and beautiful inside and out. And to take your journey and to want to make it 
better um, for other women and an acceptable thing to even talk about um, is so amazing. You know, I sponsored the Crown Act to ban hair discrimination, um, natural hair discrimination in places of work and public accommodations and education. And it makes such a difference. People don't understand the unique experience that women of color and people of color experience with our hair and our skin. And it's changing. And so I believe that your product is here right on time. So I can't wait to support you in everything that you do. I'm all in. Please reach out for anything that you need. You're amazing. All All right, Brandon Johnson. I've got your LLC registration. Don't worry about any of that. Give me a call, please. I would like to know a little bit more about how do you, how do you know how to do this? So my passion for my skin comes from an early age. So I've done many of studies. Um, I researched many of herbs. And so I just really found what worked for my skin. And I gradually, I gradually noticed my skin appearing healthier and glowing as I was using those natural herbs. Um, so I just kind of picked up from there and, and threw it into my own products. I want to make a point here that I think is important, for, especially for change agents. When you don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars to invest in research, that is the normal path. You try to do what works. And in some sense, that's actually better, right? Because she's actually proven it works with her. And so this is what I love about change agents because they take $1 and they do what other people do. Uh, it takes $10 to do. And that's why I think it's it's great to, for support. So Joe Leininger, I saw you hold up a paddle and I think it had some dollar signs on it. So uh, we've heard of, we got a free lawyer. We got business support. We got a PhD chemist to help launch a line so now we need to get it funded so joe i have no skills to bring to anything that we're talking about monique but i just we we loved your presentation and we'll certainly want to contribute so uh tremendous job and just and just great insight into applying your problem and your you know solution to a broader market i mean that's that's the market that's business and and you're doing it and so Way to go. Awesome job. Thank Great. You. You're getting a lot of dollar signs here, Monique. So I just saw the Larkins yes. put up $500. Yes. Other people are in. Yes. So thank you, Monique, for thank taking you. this brave step and Thanks. presenting this to us. If you're tuning in from home, uh, we need $20,000 to get this thing launched. And I think you can tell you've got a rock star, a beautiful person who's taken all of this and wants to make others' lives beautiful as well. Uh, and she just needs that support. So click on the link. Donate now and help her get this line launched. And we're going to see Urban Glow just go to great places because we have just a great woman behind it. So thanks for your support tonight. Click on that link and donate now. Well, thank you, Monique and Jason. This concludes the pitch portion of our evening, but the show is far from over. Stay tuned for the final fundraising amounts to be revealed. Also, as a reminder, if you'd like to donate to the change agents tonight, Click the link provided in the YouTube chat feed or use your phone to scan the QR code on the screen. And don't wait. We want to make sure that your pledge gets counted tonight. When a neighbor enters our program at Cross Purpose, we immediately call them a leader because they lead their own change out of poverty. And if you work in the building that I work in every day, it doesn't take long to hang around people like you saw tonight and realize there's something special. And these four women have given you a picture of that tonight. We have a statement in the program that they are leading their own change, uh, but we as a staff, we will not sweat more than they sweat. In other words, they have to put in the effort to change because change is, is, is tough. It takes a lot of work. Well, I hope you can see tonight that these four women, they have put in the sweat. They have put in the work. They have created something. They've pitched something to you. They put their heart and soul into it. So I'm going to ask you tonight to actually sweat on behalf of these women. Take some of that hard-earned money or those hard-earned contacts or that network that you're part of or the connection that you have and leverage them and sweat on behalf of these women. That as neighbor helps neighbor in this community, we actually restitch together this frayed social fabric and we actually see something great happen. Because you know what, tonight you're not really investing in a product line or an after-school program. You're investing in four stars in our community. 
And those stars are going to create a ripple effect that's going to affect thousands of people. And I actually think there's no better use of your time, energy, money, and connections than getting behind these four people. Step in, become a part, and join this change agency team. Hello, Leticia Tanguma here, Change Agent 2019. Thank you so much for the gift of painting a mural about gun violence. So I began painting a section of the mural that focused on the abuse of power and brutality. So much gunfire and suffering against especially people of color in our country. So while I was painting this mural, I was invited to share it at the History Colorado Museum in its permanent collection. Because of the pandemic, the museum is closed, but hopefully it will open soon so that you can see it until January 3rd. Now I dedicate the mural to George Floyd and to so many others and to you. Here's a poem that explains the mural. Blood pours into concrete. Young voices cry. Their sorrow joins echoes of generations. They cry for peace away from guns, nooses, and knives. Against fear of skin color and our very humanity. Which nourishes a new rose. The rose of 2020. Yet a rose of hope. Can we choose a different way towards the light of grace? Can we overcome fear and hate? like wings flying together strong. Rose of hope, give us determination. Rose of love, bring us guidance and devotion. At first I was nervous, but after, you know, seeing the uh, dolphins that are smiling and, you know, just somebody, some of them showing hearts and stuff, it just kind of gave me more confidence as I got more through my pitch. Ooh, magical. <laughs> like just the whole vibe of it, the whole feel, the lights, camera, action, and all the prep work. Like we've been working really hard on it. So it's just so good to see it all come together. Yeah, so my pitch tonight, I felt like it went well. I felt like I was able to achieve what I really wanted to. It's a breath of fresh air to be able to share my story and to be free from that, to be free from the past and to just be strong and encouraged to help other women as well. It was fun and I really appreciated dolphins and appreciate the Cross Purpose, you know, team as a family that are just standing and lifting people's hands up, you know, stand up and walk, you know, and it's just marvelous. So coming off of it, I just felt really excited and um, it was just really affirming that, you know, my idea is not crazy and it's good and it's possible. Um, so I just feel really blessed and amazing. <laughs> yeah, the pitch went really well. I was nervous as to be expected, but um, as I was going, like, I just remember what I'm doing it for and who I'm doing it for. And so that really just gave me the strength to like finish strong, finish it out and um, yeah, just really excited. The experience was just magical um, because it's just how everything just kind of came together and just uh, people supporting you, not just the dolphins, but it's like everyone behind the scenes and congratulating you as he's walking off. It was just really magical. <laughs> Oh, I think just the reactions. Um, I wasn't expecting it. Um, just all the love and support I got, you know, minus the donations, but the genuine support for me and what I'm trying to do is what I'll remember. Well, I'm pretty confident that, you know, I did the best I could. You know, it may not be 100%, but I was confident about what, you know, I was presenting, so. I would describe this whole process as rewarding. It's been very rewarding just because I had to go through so much at a young age and I've always questioned why, why, why. And to sit here and stand to do my pitch today, this is finally why. I finally have my answers and I'm finally at peace. Hi everyone, 
It's an amazing evening. And uh, so excited to see all of you. I'm here with uh, all four of our change agents, the stars of tonight's show. Uh, it's been an amazing year. I think we can all look at 2020 as a year to remember, and tonight is a very memorable night. I'm so proud of all four of you, and I am just absolutely ecstatic uh, that you've gone through the effort that you have facing so much difficulty, so many obstacles, so many challenges. Um, it's been incredible to work with you, and I'm excited to continue working with each of you uh, as you start to launch your ventures. So in just a second, I'm going to announce the totals. It's going to basically be announced uh, a grand total amount for each of you that is going to include some in-kind services in addition to the cash that's been uh, already calculated. We've been tabulating feverishly during the show. Um, keep in mind that last year there was a significant, significant amount of, of money that came in after the actual pitch night event. A lot of people, they need to take a minute to think about it, and uh, we're accepting uh, additional donations through the end of the week. So without further ado, I'm going to go down the order of the same way that you presented and share with you the, uh, the amounts, and then at the end give, give uh, everyone an opportunity to comment uh, before we then do the wrap-up for the show. I just want to make a comment to the audience. Thank you so much for your participation. It's been just a blast for us to watch the live chat and uh, really have enjoyed uh, everyone participating in this very first virtual event for uh, Change Agency and Cross Purpose. So, Destiny, I am very pleased to announce that the grand total, including in-kind donations and cash donations, is $19,388.92. And, and uh, those in-kind donations include marketing, branding, and legal, legal services that were offered by your uh, change agents. Um, that totals approximately $11,050, and the cash portion of that totals $8,300. And thirty-eight dollars, um, Destiny. I think you are an amazing young lady who is going to help so many children. And now you've got the start that you need to do that. So I am just thrilled for you, Lilia. I think Lily Bay's nail shed is about to happen, <laughs> and we're going to have to find some property for you, young lady, pretty quickly, because the total amount that uh, you have received is $12,060.77. Of that in-kind donations or legal services and business advice of about $1,000 and cash of $11,010.77. So I think you're well on your way to getting the she shed started and I can't wait to start working with you after Christmas to, uh, to get this going. Moose who cook, wow. You are an amazing woman, and it's been just so such a pleasure for me to get to know you. Um, the grand total that you have received is seventeen thousand four hundred and forty-one dollars and seventy-seven cents. And I believe there's some veterans that um, you will be taking care of. I actually said to Musu in one of our uh, meetings earlier this year. Musu, would you take care of me? I'm starting to get a little bit old myself. <laughs> I uh, would break that down, Musu, by uh, $1,050 in in-kind donations, legal services, and $16,391 in cash donations. And finally, Musu, uh, excuse me, Monique, um, you actually closed out the show uh, in a, such a powerful way. And I cannot wait to start using some of your products and helping you get them launched online. The total amount that you've raised is $11,962, in-kind donations of about $1,050, and cash donations of $10,912. So that brings us to a total of $60,854.24. Woo! 
I am so excited. So I assume you ladies maybe want to make a quick comment before we send it back to the stage and uh, do a wrap up. Destiny, do you have a comment you want to make? Yes, I just want to say thank you to everybody. I, I'm totally blown away that suppressed or surprised me um, beyond my wildest dreams. So <laughs> I'm, I'm lost for words, obviously. <laughs> but um, just thank you to everybody who's worked with me and who believes in me. And I'm ready to get to work. <laughs> You're awesome. Lilia, how about you? Anything you want to say to the audience? Uh, yes, I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched and everyone who's donated and everyone who supported and everyone who, you know, asked to see my more nail art. I got some new Instagram followers. Thank you so much um, to the Dolphins and just everyone who helped put this together and for helping us, you know, make our dreams a reality. I just, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. That's terrific. Musu, how about you? Do you have a comment you want to make to the audience? I just want to thank the almighty God to begin with. Um, I know he made it possible for each of us in the heat of everything that is going on to arrive at this time. I'm so grateful to God for that. And I want to appreciate my family who have been standing there and the kids, they always encourage me. And encourage me and help me with some of the process. And I also want to thank God for Cross Purpose, the entire staff, and uh, I thank God for our dolphins. We appreciate all of you so much, and may God bless you. We thank our crew that were also patient with us. Thank <laughs> so you. So I think we also thank the entire world, everybody who is listening today. We want to bless God for all, all of you. Thank you're you. An, you're an amazing yeah. woman, Musu. You're an amazing woman. Monique, how about you? You get to wrap it up. Yes, I want to say thank you the world for your generous support and supporting me and my venture. I want to say thank you to Cross Purpose. Thank you for the media team for making this all happen and making all of our dreams come true. This is truly a blessing and I am so grateful, so thankful. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Hang tight. We've just got another few minutes of wrap up that I think you're really going to enjoy. So I'm going to send it back to Karen and Dale on the stage for a final wrap up and Merry Christmas. Well, Karen, that's a wrap. Thank everyone for joining. And now a big thank you to everyone who has made this night possible. Thank you to our 16 dolphins. Thank you to our incredible cheering section. We want to make a special shout out to our change agency coaches. We could not do this without you. Also, I want to say thank you to Sawyer Gordon and Kara Hambrick. You are truly our behind the scenes dream team. A special thank you to our sponsors, Integrity Pro Roofing and Charity Vest. Also, Giving University, Whole Position Solutions, and the Center for Resilience and Change. A big thank you to Truce Media as well. Thank you also, and congratulations to the stars of the show, the change agents. It is not too late to donate. The links will be live through the end of the week. Also, to find out more information about Cross Purpose and the change agency, visit crosspurpose.org. And in the words of Black Panther, a.k.a. King T'Challa, a.k.a. Mr. Chadwick Boseman, may he rest in peace. May we always remember to look after one another as if we were one single tribe. Yeah, Dale, we really are a one single tribe. And tonight really reflected that. Good night, everyone. Merry Christmas.
I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your love and support throughout this entire process. Um, it has not been an easy one, but you have hung in there with us. You've shown us dedication and guidance and knowledge. It doesn't go unnoticed. So I just wanted to show you how much I appreciate you. Hey Ron, I wanted to make this clip to say thank you for all that you do and changing the lives of mine and many others. I want to say thank you for your support. This is a dream come true. I can truly say that I have reached my goals in life and that is because of you and that is because of this program and I am so thankful. I wish you all the blessings and all the glory in life. Take care. Hi Ron, um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for everything that you've done. Um, with Change Agency and all the support that you've given us and all the guidance and just all the work that you put in into um, making all of this successful for us and also for helping us make our dreams a reality. Um, without you, we wouldn't be here and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks, Ron. Thank you so much. Thank you for the passion you have to give helping hand to others. We appreciate you and the entire team. We will bless God for you. May the Almighty God continue to strengthen you and give you grace. Continue the good work. Can you record it?